Hello Hima friends and welcome to this new episode of Tips for Spearheads. Today we are going to give a look to two basic parries that we may find useful in spear fighting. Now a little disclaimer before I start with the explanation, this is also useful for your understanding of this weapon. The spear is generally used with uh, either the left or the right hand forward. It doesn't matter if you are lefty or right handed, generally speaking is used in either ways. So because of this I am using the terms outside and inside instead of right and left to make the things easier to understand for everyone. For example, I am a right hander but I prefer to use the spear with the left hand forward and the right hand backward. This is because it helps me a lot redirecting the spear using the backhand and also pushing forward with my strong arm in a faster way and a more precise way compared to having the left backward. But at the same time many other right handers prefer to keep the right hand forward. So it generally comes down to personal experiences and personal preferences. That said, let's start with the explanation. Now, spear fighting is pretty simple and uh, its options are pretty limited if compared to sword fighting. The parry is not different in this sense. And uh, while there are many other marginal options to parry and deflect the opponent's spear, there are two which are definitely the way to go for the absolute majority of the situations. These two movements are pretty different from each other, as one is dealing with the outside line and the other with the inside. And as the handle slash shaft of the spear is pretty long, the difference in mechanics while moving on the horizontal axis is pretty substantial. While pairing on the inside the trick is easily done. You simply move your spear toward the inside line, keeping the tip high enough to cover the body parts you need to defend. Landing the repost is also pretty easy, as redirecting the spear toward the opponent is pretty comfortable. You simply need to lower the tip and push forward. It's pretty similar to, let's call it, a frontale parry while fencing with the longsword, talking in fewer terms. While talking about the outside parry instead, the story is pretty different. You need to add a vertical component to the parry, more in the specific, at least in this case, toward the ground. That's why I personally tend to invite my opponent to strike on the outside line by keeping the tip high, so that I increase the chance to catch the opponent's spear by lowering my one while moving slightly toward the right in the meantime. Talking in fewer deliberate terms, this can be defined a romper di punta. So, when the opponent strikes at you, beat down and uh, toward your outside his spear. Remember that the more you point your spearhead toward the outside, the more the parry gets easier, but at the same time the riposte gets harder. This is true only if you want to strike with the tip, of course, which, uh, theoretically speaking, is the way to go with this kind of weapon. So, to get the job done properly, find out the sweet spot between the horizontal and the vertical component of your outside parry to maximize its effectiveness. Very good people, a brief but extremely important episode of this spear guide. Check out the other episode of this series if you missed it, link of the playlist in the description. Remember to check my Patreon page if you want to support me directly and watch more of my contents in the meantime. Thanks for watching and, uh, as always, See you next time.